fish on. Good morning, friends. This is Hook Setting Adventures, fishing with pudding. Well, this morning I'm going to be uh, exploring a different section of Wolf Teaver Creek here in uh, Collegedale, Tennessee. And uh, I'm going to be out here until it warms up. It's supposed to get into the mid 90s. Right now it's about 80. So, a couple of hours here on the creek. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to be testing out uh, a new product that I picked up a set of clip on uh, polarized lenses for my glasses. I'm also going to be uh, trying out my new uh, microphone. See if it uh, makes it sound like I'm not uh, about to die of, uh, of a heart attack or something as I'm, as I'm fishing. So come with me this morning and let's see what we can find. Uh, I'll check out this part of Wolf Teaver and I may head down to the city park if I can uh, make it there. Right now I'm here at the Thatcher Switch Recreational Area and uh, I've been here before. It did pretty good. So uh, let's see uh, what it looks like this year. Hey everybody. Let's go fishing. Well, here we are. Wolf Teaver Creek. Water's looking pretty nice. I'm going to start today out with uh, the Bobby Garland, green and orange. Now, although the water looks nice, it's a little bit low from what uh, I remember last year. But we'll see what comes out. It's a nice looking pool right here at the bridge. Not terribly deep, but still looks, oh, there was a bite. Nice little spot, uh, little eddy below a rock in the creek. Of course, nice spot for fish to hang out and try to uh, pick something up that's floating downstream. It was a light bite though, so. I don't know. You would do this uh, Bobby Garland for a little bit longer. There we go. There was something. It was small though. So, so far the fish are biting this morning. They just can't do anything about it. Not sure what I think about these polarized clip-on sunglasses as of yet. Maybe it's because of the shade. I don't know, but it's... I don't seem to be able to see through the water as well. Okay. Gonna throw in Rule number one, bite slows down, switch to night crawlers. Now the, uh, the Bobby Garland was getting some hits. But just, uh, just too slow.
And this spot right here, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent hole next to this fallen tree. It should have something in here of decent size. And like I said, I had a, a pretty good hit. There it is. There we go. Fish on. Boy, now that is colored up really nice. Really, really nice. There we go, another one. It's even smaller. Tiny little bluegill. Now I'll do these night crawlers for just a little bit. There we go, fish on. Nice little red belly. Got some serious color on this fella. There we go. Come on. This one's got some fight to it. Okay, friends, I want to show this uh, tool that I picked up a while back. Fell in love with it. Now I can't leave home without it. It's called a knot, ne a knot needle. Simply uh, thread your line through your hook or your lure. Then attach it by this spring-loaded uh, collar. Then what I do for a cinch knot, one two, three, four, five, and my number is six. Then shoot it through there. And for an improved cinch, uh, cinch knot, rack through the hole. Tighten it up. That easy. But there it is, the knot needle. Like I said, I, I, I picked this up to test it and absolutely fell in love with it. And now I can't leave home without it. All right, fish on. There we go.
pretty red belly. Look at that. That's what it's all about. Okay, I'm going to switch up here, go to uh, a rooster tail. It's a new blue fox that I got that's silver. Now I can see a, a lot of creek chubs dance around in front of me here. So now I'm wondering, well, where are the bass? There we go, fish on. green sunfish there okay a little change of pace here came down to the greenway in, in uh, Udawa College Dale we got a nice little uh, pond here thought I'd throw a little bit in and in, into here and see what we get got a Little creepy crawly lizard. All right, GoPro, start recording. Fish on. There we go. I was beginning to think that this pond wasn't going to pay off, but there's a little largemouth. Now I'm thinking that if I throw a red wiggler over there, that it's gonna wake something up. Yep, there we go. Look at that. It's like a bluegill, but smaller. See if his big brother's over there. That looks like a really nice spot. It's a small one. There we go. There 
we go. Come here, little guy. Fat little belly on that green sunfish. Okay, friends, that's it for the day. It's a good day of fishing. I explored Wolf Teaver over in uh, College Dale and Utawa quite a bit. Uh, hit a couple of spots that I've been before and then went beyond that. Got some nice, nice fishing done. I think maybe a dozen or so. I don't know. We'll find out when we get to the, to the video uh, editing. The, uh, the thing about Wolf Teaver, I've got to recommend it for uh, anybody who has kids to, that they want to take fishing. And if you take kids uh, fishing, you want them to catch something. So Wolf Teaver is a great place. For one, it's uh, most places are easy to get to. Uh, they're in College Dale is at the Memorial Park and the Greenway and lots of easy access. And I caught some really nice uh, bass and bluegill there. The other th nice thing about Wolf Teaver is it's chock full of fish. So the chances of your kids or grandkids catching something are pretty good. Now, I also want to go over something I've talked about before. Uh, I want to recommend uh, two items that I have found indispensable for my fishing adventures. The first is the knot needle. And I, in the video I showed how, how it worked. This thing is, is great in that uh, you spend less, more time fishing and less time uh, tying makes real quick work of a, of a clinch knot. The other thing I want to go over is my O-Pro's third hand. That thing is such a time saver. And you know, a lot of times when you're wading a creek, you may not be able to get to uh, the bank when it comes time to change lures or rebait or take something off. And so being able to clip your, your rod into that right there is is just uh, a godsend. So I've got to hand it to O Pro's third hand uh, rod holder. If you haven't gotten one, rush right out and get one. Same with the uh, the knot needle. You can find it on the internet. Just Google knot needle and you'll pop up with these all over the place. Thanks for coming out with me today. I appreciate and want, want to thank everybody that's subscribed to the channel so far. Be sure that if you've uh, if you've uh, watched this and you like it, share it with your friends. If this is your first time watching with us, please uh, subscribe and be sure to hit this, the bell icon down there at the bottom so you'll be notified every time a video comes out. Hit the like button too. Uh, you can use all the help I can get. Again, thanks for coming with me. This is Hook Setting Adventures, Fishing with Pudding.